It's not the sound of bullets, but the sounds of bombs keeping people awake at night in one Indianapolis neighborhood. It would have killed me. I mean, I literally almost picked it up. Tonight, we're getting a look at the damage two homemade bombs left behind in Fall Creek Place. Steve Jefferson spoke to neighbors who hope they've seen and heard the last of these explosives. People in this neighborhood are concerned about the two explosions they heard. One on this car you see here. The other one happened on this house where the windows are now boarded up. But take a look what the owner showed us before the boards were put up. And I was picking up some rubbish in the yard, and I thought that was just a bottle. The bottle James Davison showed us on his iPad turned out to be anything but. It's actually a homemade bomb designed to do serious damage and possibly deadly harm. Davison stopped short of picking up the homemade explosive. Went to pick it up, and I noticed that it had a fuse on it, and then fishing line which was attached to my fence, and I called the police. Not only did police arrive, as seen in these photos on Davidson's iPad, but you can also see bomb squad officers. They detonated the bomb. The blast blew out several windows on the house, sent shattered glass everywhere, and even left a small crater in the ground. That thing could have gone off on me, my tenant, those painters. It was... Meant to hurt. Meredith Boat felt the blast from the next block over, and it wasn't her first. She eventually learned the first blast happened after someone put a bomb in the gas tank of this car. I woke up to a large boom sound, and it woke up my baby, shook our house. He came running in the room, um, and we just didn't hear anything about it. Eyewitness News watched as repair crews boarded up Davidson's windows. He hopes to learn who police suspect is behind the bombs, convinced it could have cost him his life. It would have killed me. I mean, I literally almost picked it up. After their experience with two different bombs, the neighbors plan to look out for each other even more so now. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.